Welcome to Big Tent USA. For those of you who are new to this, um, Big Tent USA is a national women-led, yay, pro-democracy advocacy organization promoting civic engagement through education and activism. And do check out their website. They get great speakers. Um, there's a lot of information about how to volunteer and how to take action, especially right now ahead of the midterms. And speaking of the midterms, which of course, most of us are not speaking of anything else these days, we are really thrilled to have um, Jen DeVorsch joining us today. I'm really looking forward to this conversation because she is doing really urgent and important work in Pennsylvania. Some, you know, another topic a lot of us are talking about an awful lot right these days because it's an important state as we all know, and specifically in the Philadelphia area to ensure that voters have the education and the information they need to vote and to be civically engaged. Um, Jen is an activist, a self-described voting enthusiast, which I love that term, and I think we should all start using that term now for ourselves, and she ran for city commissioner in Philadelphia in 2019, and that's the office that oversees election activity in Philadelphia, so she knows what she's talking about, and what's really interesting, I think, is that her loss in that election is what led her to then co-found the organization we're gonna talk about today, Better Civics. And she did that as a way to lift up the platform that she ran on. So, I mean, you know, what a great story of making lemon, lemonade out of lemons. Um, I, I love that. And so Better Civics is a nonprofit that's focused on civic engagement and voter turnout and educating communities on how government works and how it can work for people. And I think a lot of us hear about folks all over the country, and it's sort of shocking to those of us who are really engaged in electoral politics that people don't know why that voting matters. They don't know what difference it makes in their lives. It's like who cares who wins the elections? Everybody's a politician, but Better Civics is really on a mission to change that mindset and make sure folks know why it matters. And so put your questions in the chat. We'll circle back and do Q and A um, after Jen's presentation, but for now, let me turn it over to Jen. Great. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much to Vanessa and the Big Tent team for having me here today. And thank you so much to all of you for your interest in Pennsylvania, the importance of our elections, and how we can be mobilizing and encouraging people to vote year round. So, you know, Kim, you did a great job with my introduction and you're right, like the work that we're doing is very, it's urgent, but we're also in it for the long game too. And I think that's a really important um, balance to have when you do this election work. So um, Better Civics uh, is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. I'll do like a brief overview about what we do, why we do it, go into my background. Um, but at the core, what we believe is that when people are equipped with knowledge of how government works at all levels, and those people are provided with the tools and the resources to champion issues affecting their neighborhoods, they become empowered to be more than just voters. They become more engaged, demanding better neighborhoods, better schools, better workplaces, and better elections. And that's really what we do here at Better Civics. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, one second, I'm going to get you, oh, that's not showing up right. You know, you, you think you do a million Zooms a day, you'd get it right eventually. <laughs> Give me one second. Uh, I'm going to be in presenter view. That's okay, Jen. My entire internet went out about 10 minutes before <laughs> so this. you know, started. yeah. There you go. Can everyone see that okay? Excellent. So, uh, you know, at Better Civics, we like to say that we're we're revolutionizing civic engagement and voter presentation and voter participation. But really what we're doing is so simple and so obvious. We're explaining how our government works, the difference between a city council representative and a state representative and how that affects your day-to-day -day and encourages people to understand the why it's important to vote and that our government works for us. We believe that when we vote for somebody, we're, we're hiring somebody to do a job and we should be considering the job description, the responsibilities, the qualifications, and it's important for us to have access to this information. I think it's by design that we don't have this stuff 
explained in an easy to understand accessible way. Um, at Better Civics, we, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about what we focus on and why, but you know, we don't believe in voter apathy because we don't believe that you can truly care about something that you don't understand. And so that's what we're on a mission to do, um, to, to help people understand how government works. So it sounds pretty simple, but it's also pretty revolutionary too. So I like to give a little bit of background about myself. Uh, as Kim mentioned, I'm a voting enthusiast. This is me dressed as a voting booth for Halloween 2020. Uh, fun fact, these costumes are part of the puppet, uh, the puppetry that's in the, the, um, the museum in Washington, DC, the Smithsonian around artifacts from the 2020 election. So I got to wear one of these costumes. Um, I was, uh, I, I grew up just outside of Philadelphia. I was raised by my mom and my grandmother. Um, and although they were incredible caretakers, they didn't always have the right tools and resources necessary to help me succeed. I actually almost failed out of high school. And it wasn't until I took a civics class my senior year that I found my voice. I became more invested in my community. I got to understand how local municipalities work and how it affects things that um, young people like me at the time were concerned about, like our school, our sports, our recreation systems. It also made me pretty angry that this information was so complicated and it took me you know, a very specialized, what I, I like to joke, sometimes maybe the last civics class in America to understand when every American should have uh, information and access to this information. Um, once I discovered politics and, and local government and its importance specifically, I was able to find my voice. I got more um, involved in school. I got my grades up. I was able to graduate in time and it brought me to Philadelphia. Um, in 2002. And that's really where I started my life as a civic engagement um, activist and voting enthusiast. I became a block captain. I worked with MTV Rocks the Vote. I did a number of different political um, internships and fellowship programs as a college student. And then in about around 2012, I took a program um, called the Center for Progressive Leadership that taught us about Philadelphia municipal government. And I learned about the office of city commissioner. We have three city commissioners that oversee all of our elections. Um, and that's what first piqued my interest in that race. Um, fast forward to 2019 and I saw what was coming down the pipeline. I knew that Pennsylvania was going to be at the center of the universe in Philadelphia. And that's when I jumped in and I decided to run for city commissioner. At the time I had already been a poll worker on election day for several years. I was a block captain, a committee person, and my background's in marketing and communications. And I was very curious as to why we weren't using the same proven techniques to sell consumer products like energy drinks and sports cars and fashion to sell the idea of civic engagement and getting invested in our community for the greater good. Um, and so I ran on that platform. I did not win my race, but I was endorsed by the Inquirer, by National Organization of Women, run for something, fantastic national press was brought to this office. Um, and I was able to turn that platform into Better Civics. And so what we like to say at Better Civics is we have facts that make you act. We create educational resources to better explain how government works and encourage individuals to be more civically engaged. And then we work with community organizations to deliver these resources to their audience in a trusted and effective manner. We work with what I would refer to as civic wholesalers. Many people on this call are probably fall into that category. A civic wholesaler is really anybody with an audience to educate about civic engagement and government. So it could be a teacher, it could be a high school club leader, it could be somebody with a big social network, a nonprofit leader, a civic association, um, an, an employee resource group. All of our information is nonpartisan, it's factual, it's fact-checked by professionals, and it's sitting on a virtual shelf to, shelf to be pulled off so that anyone can use this and educate their audience on upcoming elections. Right now, we only work in Philadelphia, but there's so much opportunity to bring this type of work across the country. Um, and I'd love to talk to this group about uh, more about that later on. 
So just so you understand where Better Civics fits in, we are pretty much a, uni I, I like to think a unique organization. Um, we, there are grassroots organizations and nonprofit organizations that encourage their constituents to volunteer, advocate and vote. In Philadelphia, we have a lot of organizations or some national ones too. We do a lot of work with groups like All Voting is Local and When We All Vote. Um, obviously elected officials, they're responsible for their constituency and the election integrity. There's political parties that do a lot of get out the vote, but it's partisan and it's issue specific and it's candidate specific and can sometimes be polarizing. And then there's watchdog groups that focus on holding government elected officials accountable. And those are all important pieces of this landscape. Where Better Civics fits in is we really see ourselves as the year round information hub of content expertise and workflow strategy on how to empower everyone to get out the vote. So we work with all these types of organizations and more so that they can use our creative, our materials, our scripts um, that we produce. We're, we're content experts, we're media experts, and that's where that's the vehicle that we use to deliver our information. And it is so important to do this work here in Philadelphia. We have a huge gap in registered voters versus people who actually vote. We have about a 90% voter registration rate in Philadelphia, which is pretty incredible. And we always wanna strive for a hundred, right? We have new people coming into the city. We have new citizens. We have young people that are um, being active. In fact, Pennsylvania just increased uh, voter participation in young people by 30% just this last month alone. But we have a strong voter registration game where I see the most opportunity is for those individuals that are registered to vote and do not vote. And at the last election, there was over 800,000 of them here in Philadelphia alone. And what brings me to feel so passionate about voting and what made me put my hat into the arena to run for the office of city commissioner is because Philadelphians have an underutilized power. If we increase voter turnout in Philadelphia, we could win every state and national election for Pennsylvania. It would not matter how the rest of the state votes. And I know that may sound harsh, right? But Philadelphia has very specific problems and challenges that the rest of the state doesn't necessarily see, even when you go as far out as Pittsburgh. And we have the critical mass of individuals that can move the needle and can most literally rock the vote if we increase turnout. But like I said, I never blame somebody for not voting because that puts the onus on the voter when instead our institutions and our government should be making this information accessible People that don't vote are not a monolith. There's many, many different personal reasons why people do not vote, but it's worth the time to talk to those folks and to work with these civic wholesalers who can be trusted messengers in their own communities to deliver this important information. So again, what we do is we, we really combine data with cultural context. We look at where our residents in most need around election information is needed. We look at things for when we when our city had drop box programs, where weren't their drop boxes being placed and how do we provide additional resources to their, um, you know, where are our youth residents living? How do we send different messaging to them? Um, where do we need things translated in other languages? And so this is, you know, a comparison of how we pick where we do a lot of our events and programming. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about what we actually do, right? You know, a lot about the why, right? We wanna get Philly voting in a, in a large numbers. We wanna make sure that people feel like their voice matters and that they have the right to know how government works and that when they vote, they're hiring somebody to do a job um, and that they work for them. We pay their salary with our taxes. And so we should be able to determine um, their their candidacy through our vote based on those things. And so we do a lot of a lot of different fun things in Philadelphia. We've got a great video that we can show you after this. We tried to get it to work. You saw how much struggle I had getting this screen to share. A video was going to be too much, but we're going to send it out to you uh, in the chat in, in a little bit. But um, definitely worth checking it out just so you could see the energy that was on the ground and in the air in Philadelphia in 2020. And that continues, uh, you know, to today, especially since we're most likely will win the World Series. So we're very excited here in Philadelphia about all the success that's to come in November. Um, so one of the first primary things that we do is we have a go vote 
pop-up election centers. So we find community events using that data and cultural context that I shared on the last slide. We find events in communities that have absolutely nothing to do with voting. They can be community baby showers, civic association celebrations, um, new building openings, uh, events at playgrounds, and we bring the voting component. And we call them pop-up election centers. And we have trained, educated staff on hand to answer anyone's question about the election. What's on the ballot? Where do I sign my vote by mail uh, ballot? Where do I send it in? How do I check my registration? We're basically like a mobile commissioner's office to some degree. So thinking back to why Better Civics was started and co-founded by myself and my co-founder, Megan Smith, it was really taking what our vision for the commissioner's office would be and just doing it anyway, which was an, an amazing, amazing results. Um, we do a lot of multimedia content. We're, we're good online, right? We do, we do videos, we, do, we write op-eds. Um, we have really great graphics that we use that are all shareable so people understand um, the importance of the work that we're doing. And we work with um, an organization called the Philadelphia Citizen to do their nonpartisan candidate guide every year, which if anyone here has worked on a candidate guide, it is a beast to do, but we survey all the candidates running for every office on the ballot, and we write nonpartisan, uh, fact-based profiles so people understand uh, who they're voting for and why. A lot, not a lot, but I will say several, several states and many counties send out their own version of their voting guide. We don't have the luxury of that uh, asset in Pennsylvania, so we were able to create one on our own with partnerships. And then the centerpiece of what we do are our election toolkits. We create complete sets on for these civic wholesalers on how to educate your audience about the upcoming election. And again, right now we just do this for Philadelphia, but this is an idea that you can and should absolutely steal. And we work with designers um, to make it fun and engaging. We work with copywriters to make the information snappy and bite-sized. We wanna give you just enough so you feel educated, but not overwhelmed and then provide you with additional resources to take a deeper dive. This is my favorite part about the work that we do. It's, it's Civics 101, it's adult civic education. It's very reminiscent to Schoolhouse Rock, if you remember that. Um, and it's something that we, you know, we, we pride ourselves on and, and wanna do more of. This to me was one of the greatest accomplishments. It's just a simple graphic explaining the Pennsylvania court structure. This is a slide from our, um, 2021 judicial toolkit. So voting for judges is a very complicated process. Most states are judges are appointed um, or um, or uh, yeah, they're appointed or um, picked through a credit and merit-based system. Um, in Pennsylvania and a few other states, we still elect judges. It, it's very complicated and it leads to uh, you know, lack of engagement. We do social media graphics in these toolkits. So anybody can go on our website and take this information and post it. We provide copy or you can write your own for a caption. Um, we have brochures. This was our brochure for the uh, Philadelphia judicial elections. We worked with several um, food um, access programs. So during the pandemic, when uh, people were getting um, free food boxes in, in more numbers, uh, every box came with one of these brochures um, and a voter registration kit. Um, and we were able to get this translated into some other languages. Um, and then we have game cards too. We try to make it fun. So we have um, the presentations, we have a script. So you don't even have to know the information yourself. You can become an instant expert, the social media graphics. And then we have fun things Quizzo, it's a very Philadelphia term. It's basically what we call trivia here. We have a judicial word search. We had judicial elections bingo. That was a big hit. Um, so lots of fun stuff. And then we tell, talk to people about how to use the toolkit. You can deliver the presentation to your group, use our social media cards, hand out the brochures, um, play the games. It's really, it's customizable. It's on a shelf waiting to be used in any way that civic wholesalers feel fit. And then we've got a couple of different upcoming projects too, and then I'll, I'll come to a close. Um, we will continue to do our election toolkits every six months. Actually tomorrow we have a meeting to kick off our 2023 toolkit, which will focus on the Philadelphia mayoral race, um, which will be very exciting. Um, we just received um, 
a grant from the Cotters Foundation to continue to do our pop-up elections of votes for this spring for the primary. Um, and then we're working on special projects. Jury duty is the next um, big civic engagement element that I would love to tackle. Um, talking about people, the importance of jury duty, how to be a good juror, talking about things like unconscious biasness and racism in the courtroom. Um, and and it, it's very much um, a civic duty that is overlooked. Um, and so that's what we're going to be looking uh, to work on next. So I'll, I'll pause there. I know that was a lot of information.